Hello. Go. I don't want to edit this. <laughs> <laughs> so we are here again to talk in a new episode. I made no no. In the video. Ca yeah, in the video. In the first video, actually, the second oh, round. First video. First video, second round. First. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Nuno didn't want <laughs> to come to record, but Why? I made him. I said we had nothing to talk about. It. This is terrible. Yes, because we don't have anything to talk about. So we're starting very good. So. What day is it? You don't want to tell? <laughs> no. Okay. And uh, this is the last few days that we are spending in Lisbon. Uh, and I wanted to have a video of this amazing view you are not seeing, but we yeah, are seeing. We <laughs> are. <laughs> <laughs> and this amazing view of my place and now our place. And um, yeah, so I think this is the end of a uh, season. Yeah, yeah, we, we, thought we talked about this. We wanted to make a new season of this podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have to finish up on an uh, even number, so this is episode number 12. Because we couldn't end on 11, for some reason. Uh, Are you saying something, <laughs> like no, no. trying to piss me? No, no. This, is, this is good. No, uh, I don't care. Uh, I like to record with you. Um, yeah, so this is our last episode for season 1, and we have done something uh, preparations for season two right yes yeah we are we are very proud of that yeah some creative uh, work but uh, let's talk about this season a little bit and yeah. then the next one yes so what went good what went good uh, we learned how to put on a good sound <laughs> for for those listening which is good we, yes. we learned that it's a very, very um, great leap on quality. Mm -hmm. Okay, the technical aspect. But um, now we're filming, which is another leap, <laughs> giant leap. Uh, but um, we had conversations we w we wouldn't otherwise have in those levels of uh, detail with other people or. Uh, uh, intimacy in, in, with ourselves because we are um, because we expose ourselves to this so mm -hmm. we force ourselves to think and to um, formulate speech about things we are thinking of yes and I that's also uh, yeah. I, I think that we would talk about this kind of topic yes. but uh, it's different when there are some other people listening yes. so we have to formulate what we are thinking for others to understand so we have to understand it better mm -hmm. and yeah, uh, I think it. that's for sure something good more more things that were good uh, I don't know just the act of uh, recording and mm -hmm. it was very fun yeah it sometimes was we went to the the market and we would talk about these topics anyway but just starting recording was was fun Yes. And then doing it in, on other places because it made sense for us. Mm -hmm. it, it gave some... some... Um, qualities we, wouldn't, we, wasn't, we, we weren't expecting, like recording in, uh, in a train station or when we were walking home from our dance uh, yes. lessons. It gave a, another perspective on our lives and it it uh, stopped it from being boring in all the ways the same yeah but i don't think our love is boring like we will no boring in the sense of okay now we go to the market uh, press yes. record now we go now we no, talk. yeah yeah we decided di in different moments that we wanted to record um yeah and i think it's very nice to see that it's already one year in love yeah. and uh, to have that kind of mem memories like imagine that we continue together and in 20 40 years <laughs> we go back and we listen to the episodes yeah it's 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 a good uh, memoir yes for ourselves and for our relationship 
Um, what was the worst things? The worst. For sure, the, the sound. Worst. Yeah, the sound was terrible sometimes. Now we hope we are recording good. Um, yeah, please. <laughs> this is recording. Um, um, sometimes uh, getting to um, find the correct words and talking about issues that are really complicated for us. Mm. Um, very personal. Very personal. Uh, the, the part of the exposure, because we are exposing... We, not a lot of people listen to us, <laughs> no. But it's... A f I'm surprised. It's, it's enough for us to think, okay, someone might see this, might hear this. Yes. Um, we want to be ourselves and expose our vulnerabilities. We think uh, it's... You think more than me, but I think also this is very important to have this space, to, mm -hmm. to give people this space as we are giving each other. Uh, on, uh, in our society in general, mm -hmm. because it's not very common. We listen, listen to people talking about this. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's difficult. Not so, sometimes I can say things that... Oh, and we also we are talking in English, it's, uh, it's not our native language, so sometimes the things we say, it's not exactly how we think of it. And sometimes it's complicated and we then uh, after recording, sometime later we come back to these topics uh, in Portuguese mm -hmm. to talk about them again. Yes, sometimes. Sometimes. Not a lot, but sometimes. Um, we talked about this on our failed uh, video record, ah. but uh, I just wanted to share still because they mm -hmm. didn't listen yeah. to that. Like we s you said, first we just started recording because it was fun and I needed to train my English because I was going to a conference. Um, but then it became something more, for me at least. <laughs> no, it's like, it's just like my tattoo, you see, like, it's not like, uh, <laughs> yeah. um So I did this tattoo when I was 18 and it was like very deep, I just like accepting myself and things like that. <laughs> uh, and now it's much more than that. It's like embracing the two parts of oneself that is what you want to be and what you really are. So I think sometimes you start something for one reason and then you continue to do that for a very different reason. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like this podcast is something like that. Yeah. Uh, I think we, I we still have the first uh, um, goal, but for me, it it grow. I, I, I wasn't thinking very much when we started doing it, yeah. so it, no, it wasn't really a purpose that I was pursuing by doing this with you. Mm -hmm. But then it, it just made sense for us to talk. Yes. And then we'll keep going. Yeah, so, but for me now, it's... I, what I said before, it's like going to therapy, where mm. you... First you explain what you feel and what you are going through, but also you share and uh, you expose yourself to others, the ones that are listening to us. And we, I hope uh, very deeply that the others will accept me too. Hmm. Why are you smiling? I'm not. Okay. <laughs> um, and I think that's very important, not always so easy or at least, I think we are tending more to assume that people expect us to be more perfect emotionally that, than uh, what yeah. we are. And uh, I think we are all, in this age at least, kind of messed with all the emotions and the goals and the things that you went to through your childhood and you are still figuring out who you but are in you this are world. An adult. No, you have to be an adult. And you have responsibilities and everything. So I think sharing deep feelings and hoping that it, it will be accepted by others is also 
kind of going to therapy because I, when you have support from a community of people that are humans, um, you can grow much more healthier mentally. So I think this is very good to have this place to do it. But we are not in a community that, that, that talks about this topic, so we don't have a community. No. We have the people that listen to us. Yeah, but they don't interact with us necessarily. Yes. Which is what a community would do. Right? Yes, but some people do. Yes, some people do. And some people say like, oh, I was not expecting you to feel that way or mm -hmm. it's good to listen that you also feel this way. Like the previous episode when we were sharing with Tomas and Bia, I felt, okay, we all have been uh, through some challenges and some, some of them are similar and you are not that alone when you share similar mm -hmm. challenge. Uh, or even if you have different challenges, but you have someone that listens to you, that's also good. It's therapy. It's therapy. <laughs> so we will keep going with this, now in a video format, probably. We hope. We hope. We, hope we can, can do it this, this way. So we will see some parts of uh, Frankfurt. Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll be recording from Frankfurt from this second yeah. season. So if you are German and you are ah, listening to this yes. and you are a couple or <laughs> you want to talk about couple no, no, challenges or personal it. challenges, you can reach out to us on our personal Instagrams. Uh, Wait, uh, they, do they have access to our Instagram? I, I don't... You can know. share on this description yeah. episodes. You should, I should um, put it on the... Um, the podcast bio. Yeah. Okay. But you can come to us and we can record the podcast. Not only if you are a couple, if you are a couple, you can go by yourself. Yes. Yeah. But talking about these kind of topics, yeah, yeah, yeah. like personal or yes. relationship uh, challenges or something you think very deeply and you want to share with others, so you can just talk to us. We can also move. Uh, not necessarily only in Frankfurt, like on the weekends we can go... Not in the first month or two, yeah. but... Uh, no, uh, yes. but that, it's, it's an idea like yeah. for people around Frankfurt that we can catch a bus to meet, to go <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. That would be nice. That would be nice. Yeah. Um, and also to our, the Portuguese if you want to come visit. Yes, like Tomás and Bia will probably have a second round, very <laughs> different, because they will have already a job or something like that, and we will be also very different, and that's it. We are, stop we are stopping, we, we are not going anymore to the market. So that's also another reason for a different uh, yeah, season. So we had to change it up a bit. Um, Hopefully there are markets, good markets for us to go. Um, but yeah, uh, we are packing. There's a lot of suitcases filled with stuff and clothes and everything behind us. We c you cannot see it. <laughs> Hopefully yeah. you cannot see them. Okay. Um, and yeah, this is probably the last time we'll be in this place. Yeah, that's kind of sad for me. Memories, right? Memories, yes. Um, just telling another thing that we talked on the in other bed. Ah, in bed, okay. Today yeah. or yesterday, I don't uh, remember. Go, go. But I think it's also a good uh, reason for changing the season. It is like we are making our third year of relationship, mm -hmm. which normally matches with a crisis because uh, there are uh, common crises in human relationship which are at the six month, six to one year, then third year, then five and then seven. There are common, there are moments of change for an individual being and then it also happens when you are in a relationship so it's a moment of crisis. So I feel that 
now we have a lot of memories together, we have lived a lot of things together and uh, we have a lot of expectations on what is the behaviour of uh, each other and uh, I feel like I want to change, not that I want but I'm feeling myself changing and I want to embrace that change um, and I think this is like a clash, do you say this? Mm -hmm. It's like a clash and we are in this phase where we have to learn again how to continue together and grow together, changing. This is a tricky one topic, what? right? Uh, because because you don't see the changes, right? Because, as you said, we have the memories and the expectations, and so and so. It's not like something you s you can see, because you are building on a, on the relationship, and then to. It's like you s you're saying, doing or learning all, all over again to be with each other it's something you you have to speak yeah we have to speak before uh, changing mm -hmm. right? because nobody's expecting that it's not like tomorrow yeah, I will be different yeah, yeah, yeah. but I expect you to behave differently so I can also like I'm not asking you to change but I'm saying that I want to see if me changing will uh, yes. still match with you so yeah, yeah. both of the people have to change to still uh, complement each mm -hmm. other I, I, f I feel like I'm, I'm changing as well mm -hmm. right? at least I've been changing from the m moment I started hanging around you more, mm -hmm. I changed. I've been changing my habits, what I what I do. Um, yeah, but now I don't know. I'm. I feel like I'm still very open. I'm very undecided about what, uh, what am I, or what is Nuno going to be, and what is we represent as a person. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've I've always been like um, open to 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 other people and what other people are thinking or doing or want. And with you, I don't see. I don't see a problem that is going to to happen we have our discussions and we argue uh, and I, I feel like it it's a it's a continuing process to yes. to learn each other and to because it won't stop changing we won't because we won't stop living i, I hope because if we stop living our lives differently, yeah, it will stop changing. Yes, that's also a very good point. Like we are reaching this point and we could just like decide, okay, so you are going six months, it's not a big deal. It's like a Erasmus mm -hmm. um, season and uh, I'm staying. Uh, that could have happened. But uh, in this exact moment on our relationship, I think that would be completely impossible because I, I feel I'm changing and if we, we were in a different place even though we would see each other like maybe once a month or something like that it would be completely different because I will have a different life mm -hmm. yeah and uh, you also will I be wanted to to live differently as well that's why I, me not having right now a job in Frankfurt I will, I'm going with you either way because I want it mm -hmm. Um, so, so I agree, I agree that if I stayed, it would be very complicated for us. Um, I, I, I understand, it's yeah. because I, I also want the, the same things that, that you're saying. Yes, 
I think this will be a challenge, at least I feel it will be a challenge. And, uh, but I think by communicating we are reducing the challenge. In some cases we are augmenting the challenge. Why? Because it's not a challenge if you don't acknowledge it. Yes, but <laughs> I'm always thinking. You are, I'm, I'm not always thinking. Yes, but um, yeah, you know that of course, of if course. I feel unsatisfied, my first thought is like, okay, I, I, don't, I will be better I don't. alone. No, you don't do that anymore. I think that. I, th I think you don't do that with me. Okay. You, you want to talk. You mm. really want to talk. That's good. I don't feel like you, you want me to... Sometimes you can say that uh, you want me to, to be in a, go away, be in a different room or... Uh, yeah, but I don't feel like you want that really. Mm -hmm. I feel like you can, you will have that uh, because you want it and uh, I, I'm giving you what you want. But in that moment, I know that's not the way of life for us. Mm -hmm. Unless we have a problem and then, okay, separate and then we might forget in some hours on a day or... I have, I'm, I have a lot of difficulty to do that. Yeah, we, we, not, we don't do that. So. Yeah. Uh, can I give the, a particular example? Because I think sometimes we speak a lot uh, in codes for ourselves. Or mm -hmm. And I have an example that I think it's okay to share, because, so, because of my memories and what, what is the basis where my personality has been developed, I feel like I have to predict everyone's behavior mm. before they act on it, or too intensely act on it. So I tend to observe a lot of a lot of people and then I tend to analyze and try to perceive what they are going to do and what are their goals and why they do the way they do uh, and that's very tiring for me right now I want that to change I don't like I think I will al always kind of analyze but I don't want to expect the worst to happen that's I think there is where the problem comes from and uh, because you are very um, naive in mm -hmm. the sense of you don't you just I don't care yeah you don't care you if, are just if there. someone says to me something that's direct that is direct and means what the peop the person is saying okay I'll I'll interact I'll say what I think but when there are comments that are probably have second intentions I don't want to uh, predict what those intentions might be because it it might be wrong and I don't I, it doesn't really affect me my life I will just carry on the way I'm living maybe that's naive and probably I I end up doing things I, I don't really think much through and that's not very good for for me on the long run, or for you because you're in a relationship. But overall, I, I think I was I, I was I was always like uh, like this, and don't didn't really matter for me what the other people wanted if they didn't say it uh, directly. And I, I don't have I don't have that um, uh, I would say impulse to to uh, analyze and judge mm -hmm. to to protect myself. Yes, I I do that because I n feel like I need to defend myself. Like if I'm in a war zone and someone is going to hurt me, so I have to predict if someone is going to shoot a bomb. To what? to shoot a bullet. Bullet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> shoot a bullet. A ball. A, a ball. ball. Mm -hmm. A ball coming out of it. <laughs> a bullet. Okay. So I have to protect myself. It's just mm. the same, but emotionally. Yes. Yeah, so, so I think when we talked about when we talk about this and we have these discussions about normally my behavior not being 
um, what you need me to do because then you have to protect yourself and mm -hmm. I'm not protecting you. Um, yeah, I, f I feel like you're attacking me because I shouldn't be like this. I should mm -hmm. not be naive. I should understand how people work and what they want. Uh, and that's, that's the problem. That's why we clash. Mm -hmm. It's because of course I want to protect you and I don't want you to get hurt. But it's like, it's like I'm doing nothing and hurting you because I'm doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, <laughs> not, that's not what I meant. I'm, I just, I'm, I'm tired, like I said in the beginning, and I don't want to be always protecting me. I'm doing the work to be better and not assume every, everyone wants to do me harm, but, uh, I also don't want to feel alone. Of course. And uh, I, I want to just be naive sometimes. And for that, I need someone, in this case I, I expect you, to not be so naive all the time. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm not imposing this on you. I'm, I'm expressing what I need and want mm -hmm. from yeah. us. Yeah, we talked about this and I said to you, okay, you need this, I, I will try my best to, what I, I imagined or what I feel about this is when something is happening, I'm like, okay, let me look at, let, let, me, let me look at you, how are you feeling? Mm -hmm. is, this, is, is this situation something that can be harmful? Mm -hmm. and Maybe I can just uh, do something, like uh, hold your hand, say something that gives you comfort. Um, not ignore all the surroundings. the surroundings, because it doesn't really affect me directly and I, don't, I forget it. Yeah, Yeah, that's what I think. Oh, I'm grateful for you to uh, consider that. No. <laughs> Should we really wrap up? Because we only have five minutes of recording left on your... Uh yes, wrap up and it's starting to rain. Yeah, it's windy. Probably the sound is not I great. I think we didn't look that much in the camera. We are talking to each other. We, don't, we are not talking to the, the okay, phone. Okay, just like <laughs> for the future, maybe it's better. I don't know. Let well, us it's know. Improving comment, and everything. comment on the YouTube video. We, yeah. we should. Yeah, we're probably gonna create a YouTube channel for this. <laughs> it's it's gonna sit there. Uh, oh now it became real in my. We are uh, recording, but we can put it on Spotify. Okay. Uh, um. Yeah. So see you in the next episode, and we will be in Frankfurt. We in the season two, which we are going to change so much. I'm gonna have a wig. <laughs> I will, will change the color. Blonde, yeah. No, bold. No, blonde. <laughs> okay, blonde. <laughs> and that's it. Kiss, kiss, bye bye, and see bye. you next time. <laughs>